Hey guys, it is Kudo Crochet, and sorry about my hair. This is my natural hair when I don't blow dry it or flat iron it. Um, so it looks a little bit wild, but I'm going to try and work with it. It looks, it kind of looks like beachy hair now that I look at it. It doesn't look too bad, but anyways. So this is, I couldn't wait anymore because I'm still working on the scarf that's going to go with this beanie. But I have to do this review. <laughs> I, I want to get this off my chest right now. Um, so this is going to be a review on the Karen and Panton uh, yarn product that I bought from Mary Maxim. Uh, these are the product tags. Like They gave examples on how you can do different combinations with the colors. I bought the purple pops from Mary Maxim. I think they're still selling them for like $2.99 each braid. And here's the Karen and Panton logo. So um, let me start <laughs> how, how I ended up. So this is the finished product. But I'm going to tell you how I ended up with this pattern. Because um, let me tell you, I, I really, really struggled with this yarn. So... Because of the examples that they showed, I gave me a definitive answer to just, I want to work, I want to make a beanie out of this for one of my coworkers. So right now I'm trying to, to finish the gifts that are for my coworkers first before I do my family members. So I was trying to look for a really good crochet beanie YouTube video that I can do. Um, there's one from Siren's Crochet. So far this year, she's definitely my favorite crochet YouTuber. Of this year um, I will put a link to her channel and a link well actually I'll just directly put a link to that video that I was trying to do it, it was a cable style beanie which I've never done cable before <sighs> um, I just didn't like how it was coming out because I was getting really big gaps ar around the cables like really big holes and that bugged the crap out of me so, because the Karen and Panton is a bulky five. The yarn that she was using in her video was a four. So I decided, okay, that pattern is not for this <laughs> yarn. So I'm going to do that pattern some other time with a number four, okay? So the next beanie that I found on YouTube, I'm going to try and see if I can find it again. I don't remember her YouTube channel. Um... Now, the last video, the Siren's crochet pattern, it started with the bottom to top of the hat. And then the next one I found was the top of the hat or beanie to the bottom. And as I'm starting to work with it, I, I didn't like it either. I just didn't like how this yarn was looking with that pattern either. Um, I think she was using a bulky five in her video, but... It looked better with her yarn compared to the Karen and Panton yarn. So I just like, no, this isn't working. I was trying to find more crochet videos and I just, I couldn't find anything good because I like unique. I want unique or sometimes if I'm tired of trying to find a unique one, I'll try to look for a simple one <laughs> just so I can finish this project. But I just couldn't find anything else that was good and I was panicking and I'm like crap I need to get this done because I got so many gifts that I gotta make and then I remembered I have the KB knitting loom sets I have the baby one I have the regular one that's for worsted like number four medium yarns and then this is the chunky which I never opened I never touched so I was super uber happy I remembered I had my knitting looms and um, let me take out the instructions so I did this pattern here it's called the plum hat so it doesn't and it's a little bit dark so I'll sh show you the hat again so I, this is how it looks. Um, so this is knitting pearl, knitting pearl, knitting pearl. It just repeats. Um, like it shows in the pamphlet, 
it's solid color but I did since I had multiple colors I thought it would look good it looks okay the only thing I don't like is that I wish these lines were the color of the new yarn like I wish this teal was still a mustard this purple I mean this yellow was still a purple and so forth but it's still an okay pattern um and I added a pom-pom it looks really nice with the whole color scheme and I added the handmade the only thing about this pattern that I wish I had added an extra inch they said make it eight to nine but I was trying to imagine my co-worker's head <laughs> and I thought maybe eight inch would be perfect for her but when my mom tried it out because I think she and her have the same size head my mom recommended to add it in another inch so I'm thinking of coming up with a backup beanie just in case because I'm not going to give her the gift until the last day of the conference because if just a little bit more about myself I work with different conferences and sometimes we don't always work with the same people but if it's a big conference I definitely know who I'm going to be working with so the next conference that's coming up it's a big conference we always work every year called Gartner it's a tech conference if you're curious um so I usually give these gifts on the last day so I'll have time to really look at her head which is going to be a little bit weird for me uh, and you know examine it a little bit hopefully she doesn't notice <laughs> and hopefully that beanie is going to be okay with her but I'd rather just make up a backup just in case and if she's okay with it then I can give the backup beanie to someone else you know but anyways yeah so that's how I <laughs> finally decided which beanie to go with or which pattern design I wanted to go with. So that's how difficult the Karen and Panton yarn was for me, was that it just wasn't looking good with the patterns that I was finding until the knitting loom pattern. And let me tell you the good things about it. So first of all, presentation. I like the braid look. Um, I like that they gave examples. I like that you don't have to think about what colors to put together. Um, it's less work <laughs> I mean I do love the process for me I love the process of picking out my yarns but sometimes you just want to like someone else to do it for you you know and um, that was nice the presentation the examples the the color combos and the softness that's the third thing I like about it is the softness of the yarn I liked working with it because it, the how soft it was working between your fingers so those are the three things that I can think of that I liked about it. So the bad things about the Karen and Panton yarn, ugh, I number one, I wish they had instructions on how to properly um, take apart the yarns. So the, the top yarn color and the bottom yarn color were tied twice, okay? The first tie was a small piece of yarn by its own it's not part of the big yarn ball but the second tie because I automatically assume that the second tie was the same thing it was a small piece of yarn that's not part of the ball but as I cut it sec the second tie I realized it was part of this the bigger ball so I was kind of irked that I cut a little bit too much because I could have used that yarn for the project so one they should have added instructions on how to properly disassemble the yarn now starting to work with the yarn <laughs> and that's where in my last haul video that's why i had to buy a yarn winder because i just after unfolding the yarn itself i had to put it around my arm first so it doesn't tangle but as I'm working, sometimes it'll go around my wrist really tight and then I have to stop do what I'm doing, take the yarn off, and it would just keep repeating and repeating and I hated that. And that's why the yarn winder, I had to get it. I had to. And um, now it's a lot easier to do my current projects because I, like I said, I'm, I'm still working on the scarf that's going to go with this beanie. Um... So that's probably the second bad thing I did not like about it was 
working with the yarn <laughs> um and i think that's i think that's pretty much it those are the only two bad things that i can i can think about is instructions on how to um properly open the yarn and the way that it was winded up you know when you're trying to start to work with it it's a hot mess so um yeah there's a lot to i know i know there's like one more good thing than there is a bad so if i would have to rate it out of yarn balls <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can find like little yarn ball logos to put on the video hopefully um, I would probably give it a three out of five yarn balls so it's an okay yarn to work with in my opinion um, would I buy this again maybe if it was a little bit cheaper maybe a dollar cheaper from Mary Maxim because they're still selling it for $2.99 so maybe I would buy it again if it's a dollar cheaper <laughs> or maybe even a dollar. I don't know. Um, Amazon's still selling it because I was curious if I can, you know, I wanted to see other color combos. Um, they sell them by packs, like three packs, five packs for really decent prices. So, you know, not too bad. Um, if someone were to gift it to me, you know, I would greatly appreciate it. I would use it and I would give that item that I completed to someone else. Uh, because I appreciate, you know, happy mail, I appreciate Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, even if it's something I don't like, it, they did it out of the goodness of their heart, you know, and that's what I love. So I don't mind using it if someone gives it to me as a gift, but I, to, to be honest, I probably wouldn't buy it myself unless it's on sale for a really good deal. <laughs> but um, yeah, three out of five. I, it's it's an okay yarn but I was still frustrated with it <laughs> it's frustrating to work with but in the end you know it it does come out pretty so that's why it's a, it's okay it's okay but you know once you get over the frustration it's not too bad anymore so yeah um let me know what you guys have you guys worked with Karen and Panton yarns what did you love about it? What did you hate about it? I'm, I'm really curious myself because I didn't look at other people's review videos and I didn't read any reviews on Amazon. So I'm really curious what you guys think. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it with this video. After I'm done with my projects, I don't know what's going to be the next video i definitely won't have any more haul videos for a while um i i remember i told you guys i was going to do a, another challenge with the halloween yarn because i really want to work with that starting this coming week so um because i want it to be completed at least by the time it's halloween because <laughs> i would love to use it during the week of halloween so um hopefully that's going to work out and like I said, I'm still working on the pattern for that last tutorial video. It's so hard <laughs> to do the pa written patterns because I don't want to. I don't want to mess it up. It'll be my first time posting a pattern. A written